And thanks for joining us for another episode of Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. So glad you could take the time to be with us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, we've all heard about the possible demise of the Bitcoin currency this week, but there's a real currency issue brewing, and it is liquid, and I mean literally. California is experiencing what is being called a 100-year drought, and water has become the most important natural resource and currency in a state that's literally drying up. Now, millions of lives and billions of dollars are at stake, and when those kinds of numbers come up, so do the politicians. Now, according to the federal government, every square mile of California is in some state of drought, and central California's agricultural heartland is feeling it the worst. This is America's breadbasket. The produce section of your supermarket would not exist without central California. Now, just to give you an idea, rain in San Francisco area is down 65 percent in the last year. In Los Angeles, it's off by 90 percent. The snowpack in the Sierra Nevada mountains is less than half below average. It is brutally ironic that most of the country is overrun with precipitation in the form of ice and snow, but Central and, Se Central and Southern California are literally bone dry, and even an expected two-day rainstorm is not going to put a dent in the problem. So imagine the frustration of California farmers when the president visited the region and blamed the water issues on, you got it, global warming. Now, mind you, it's these people that grow the food that ends up on the tables of Americans all over the USA. And instead of real help and concern, they get a lecture on global warming, even while most of the country is locked in a deep freeze. Central California does have a very efficient water management system that was designed to deal with droughts that last up to five years. But this contracted water has been blocked by a liberal federal judge who decided the needs of millions of Americans did not compare to some stupid two-inch fish whose only use is for bait. Environmental special interests managed to dismantle the entire system by diverting water meant for farms to pet projects, and that forced the outright waste of three million acre feet of water originally slated for the Central Valley over the last five years. So where do you think much, the much needed water went? It was dumped into the Pacific Ocean rather than to the parched farms of the Central Valley. The U.S. House passed a bill to restore the water flow, but it's been blocked by the Senate, and the president has promised to veto it if it gets to his desk. Entire farming regions are having to shut down. People are being put out of work. Businesses are failing. Instead of real action, the president offered a summer meal plan to out-of-work farmhands. More welfare from the Welfare Administration. If the region doesn't get adequate water soon, food industry experts predict prices on supermarket shelves could increase by 10 to 20 percent or more. Then what happens? More people can't afford to feed their families, so they just, what, issue more food stamps? Seriously? This is a problem so severe, with a solution so simple and already in place, only a politician can mess it up. And the current politician-in-chief is messing it up but good. Now, here's something that's impossible to mess up, dialing our toll-free number for information, toll-free anywhere in the world you're watching the program, 888-259-4449. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. It is also free. Again, the toll-free number is 888-259-4449. On your mobile phone, just text Money TV to go 800 or 46800. Visit us at moneytv.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. 